It felt great to get back in the end zone. It's been a while, but credit to my whole line. It felt great to get back in the end zone. What are the challenges of, of Illinois and their defense? I mean, they, they forced a lot of takeaways over their first three weeks. Yeah, they're they're a physical team. Uh, they play extremely fast, and so they all fly to the football. So uh, we got a great challenge this week. But you know, I got a lot of trust in our guys. We just got to execute and focus on us and make everything about us, and it will be just fine. Feels like the Illinois game last year was when you kind of jumped on the scene more. You, what do you remember about that? And also to, to look forward, how you've grown. You know. Since. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of my first, uh, you know, times getting out there. It's Illinois game. Uh, I really just was really prepared uh, for the game, so preparing well is going to help me with that. And then just going out there, playing physical, like I said, playing fast and playing physical because this team is, you know, disciplined on defense. So just being able to break tackles, uh, make the right reads, and run through contact and keep your feet moving, things like that. And I'm just excited to bring that this year. Yeah, but what do you think about playing on a Friday night? I love playing Friday on Friday night because it feels like a high school game, like one of those Friday night lights. Uh, I love playing here, especially in the nighttime. It's going to be a great environment. Uh, I just can't wait to go out there with my teammates and just execute and play well. There are three games now. Now, how has the competitive spirit in the running back room continued? It was a big thing in the off season, but uh, obviously now, as, as you guys have kind of found your own roles within the offense. Yeah, we're still competing every single day. Uh, nothing's going to change with that the whole year. It's going to be, you know, competing and just I'm going out there every day in practice and showing what I can do, uh, being ready for my opportunity and making plays, most importantly. You guys kind of been able to help each other out, you know, in the running back room and bounce ideas and technique off each other? Yeah, we all can learn from uh, each other. Uh, I learned a lot from watching those other guys uh, when they're out there playing, and I'm sure they learn when I'm out there playing too as well, but I'm always open to learning uh, different things and just watching, seeing things I can get better at. So when I go out there, it makes my job easier. Anything else for him? Hey, when you're in a tight battle like you are at the running back, how important is it that you maximize your reps and when you don't know what your reps are going to be? Yeah, just always being ready, uh, being ready for my opportunity, uh, going out there and practice, and just you know being consistent every single day. But I've always been ready for my opportunity, and I'm always going to continue to be ready for my opportunity. I have a job to help this team win, uh, and that's what I'm going to go do. And this is going to be the 400th consecutive sellout at Memorial Stadium. What is it like yeah. you know, being on the field and being able to play in a milestone game like this? Yeah, that just shows how loyal uh, Nebraska fans are. Uh, and it's going to be really great to go out there. I know the fans are going to be loud and everything, but we just got to go out there and play Nebraska football uh, and get a win for the 400th. <laughs> so that will be great. All right. Thank you, Evan. Appreciate you guys.